Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials on Mondays and Wednesdays and on Fridays I do fabulous drag looks because Fridays are a drag. In this video we do another extensions video. Oh, I've been doing a lot of them lately but I'm a hair person. I love hair. You know, somebody who doesn't have much of it, they love hair. <laughs> so we're gonna be reviewing this beautiful clipping hair from Full Shine Hair, Amazon store. It's a hundred percent human Remy hair. Full set of clippings. So we're gonna be talking the color, the prices, and everything. And I'm gonna show you how to install them. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all new stuff I upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and also go live almost every Monday. So follow me on social media, all the links are in the description box, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this video. So I got approached by a full shine hair in an email, and they offered to send me some extensions uh, for the review. And here we got the extensions. These are Remy human hair extensions. They sent me the ones, uh, they asked me which ones I wanted, and I said I wanted 16 inches and color 60 because 60 is what usually uh, matches my color. It says full shine clipping hair. Uh, it has seven pieces in it. This is the box, and this is what it looks like in the package. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to go through all the steps together with you so we can all see what it's going to look like. The installation of clipping hair is really easy and simple, so it looks like this. There's some care instructions in the back, as usual, and this is what it looks like. They have sets for uh, in 15, 10 pieces and 7 pieces. They have tapings, they have seamless clippings and clippings. I had seamless clippings before and I love them, for especially fine, fine hair. Like mine is, is very good because it doesn't have a weft. But disadvantage of seamless, they're a little thinner. And this one, the wefts, they have a little more hair, it looks like it at least. So it comes packed like this and it has clips. So let me uh, get this out. I'm going to show you all the seven pieces. Seems like it's a pretty decent match. Maybe a little more yellow than my hair, but I can always color it later uh, with a little toner. But overall, it seems like a very nice match. So uh, the price for this hair varies. I honestly cannot find a listing for this Amazon because they just sent me a free package, of course. But they vary about between like a 50 something dollars up to $131. Uh, depends on the length and the color. So there's some, I see 22 inch, $131, and some uh, 12 inches, $55.99. So it all varies in price. The hair seems very silky, very fine. Seems like a very nice quality. Like I can tell, it's a really nice hair. I'm a hair person, you all know. That's why I love hair extension videos because obviously, like, I have no hair. <laughs> like, hello. Uh, so these come in seven pieces. One piece, 10 inch weft with four clips. So this is the four clip one. I got one piece, eight inch weft with three clips. So this is the three clip. They got one piece, seven inch weft with three clips. I guess they're a little different, which makes sense, you know, the father placement on the head. Uh, and one piece, two pieces, five inch weft with two clips. So these are the bigger two clip pieces. And also, there are two tiny pieces with two clips. And these are three inch wefts. Is the second one there you go so yeah i see slight different color but you know when they 
a blend them in, it's probably not gonna be able to see it. If I'm really lazy, I'm not gonna color them. If I'm lazy, if I'm not lazy, I might tone them a little bit tone to match my hair. So let me put them in and I'll show you a little bit. But you know, putting them in is real simple, just to have to part the hair. So let me start and I'm gonna show you how it's so going. first you want to part your hair. Uh, I would recommend having a mirror, a three-way mirror. Um, usually I do it in the bathroom, but here I'm sitting in my filming area, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of pieces. So first find the pieces where you wanna put them. I usually like to put smaller pieces on top because you can kind of like see where you wanna fit them. And the longer pieces in the middle. So this is a three uh, clip piece and it came, it's the one that's a little longer. So first I see how it fits. So it fits somewhere in the back of my head. So here the part, it might not be neat because I couldn't see, but <laughs> there you have it. So uh, my advice, if you were really going out, and if you want this to stay real put and tight, I would recommend to slightly tease the hair, your own hair, where you want to attach it. I have a fine tooth comb. So this is clip number one. Clip number two is going to be here. And one of the teeth already in my hair, of course, because we're messy here. And one in the middle, I'm gonna tease that piece as well. So now when you put the combs into your hair, they're gonna sit on the teased part. So I'm gonna put the middle part first. Then we're gonna put the other one and the other one. So there we have it. I can't see what it looks like. It's probably not that neat, but you know, you get the point. Also, want to make sure that it's a straight line. I mean, it's as straight as it comes without looking. <laughs> so next, we're gonna part another piece of hair. I have my red tail comb. I just wash my hair, so it's like it's a little silky. Might be easier when the hair is slightly dirty. I usually like to leave less hair in between because my hair is real thin so I want to use as much hair as possible in the middle and not so much on top because you don't want to be the have to be seen so I separated the next next piece again it might not be neat because I don't have my three-way mirror here in this area and I'm not taking it with me to the bathroom because you know it's not that pretty <laughs> anyway so you got the four piece so the four piece is gonna go right in the middle of my head because it's the widest area here. So this is where the longest piece is gonna sit. I'm not gonna tease my hair now because obviously I'm not going anywhere now. It's late at night. My husband needs dinner, so I don't care how well it's gonna stay, but we're all gonna see the final result. So this is the second piece. So we're gonna go on like this over and over until we use up all the pieces. So I still have uh, five pieces left. And when you get to the top and use all the small pieces, I can really fit them and see where I can actually place them. So let me finish this off camera and I'll show you the final result. Okay, so this is the back of my head. I had to sit all the way down to the wall so you guys can see it. So this is 16 inches. I installed the rest of the hair in the same way I showed you. Like I put one three piece here, uh, three clip, like a couple of two clips and then two more bigger two clips over there. Uh, it all blends with the hair. So as you can see, let me show you the front. So I just wanted to add a few words that uh, they have a lot of colors. There's color differences may exist because of different light and also all the extensions are colored by hand, which is very impressive. So I think that's why uh, some of the 60 doesn't look like other 60, but this is very, very good quality hair. And also it, there is a little shine, as you can see, like it might be a little more shiny in my own hair, but the shine is because it's new hair. And when you wash it, it'll disappear and I can tell you it's true. I had clipping extensions. The shine usually becomes more realistic looking and I could also um, tone it. And after you tone it, it looks more natural too because you know, color, a little color process. And since it's natural hair, human hair, you can tone it so it doesn't really match you exactly. Because when you shop online, I mean, it's hard to match. So you can also tone it down a little bit. I love the way it is silky. 
it's so soft it's so smooth like it looks like and feels like my own hair i have another set of extensions before and i love them but these i feel like they feel more like my own natural hair in other words like my own hair is real thin and i like that the ends are not too thick and fake looking because when the ends like thick they look they just don't look real so this looks like my real hair which I love and actually blends the color blends real nicely maybe it's slightly less cool tone than my own hair but it's not a big deal I'm too lazy to color them they look real nice I love this I could curl them up and they'll look real even better so I flipped them all forward as you can see so it still looks nice so this is my own hair sticking out here and this is the extensions so it uh, blends well because my hair is thin and the extensions uh, not adding too much bulk to my hair. So it actually blends really, really nicely. Well, my tip is to tease your hair on top a little bit and maybe use a little spray. So, you know, the weft is not going to show. Or if your own hair is a little longer, you can actually place the extensions lower on the head. So it blends. But if your hair is short like mine, if you place extensions too long, are too low on the head then you'll see like a mullet you know so you have to kind of like balance in between like where my highest extension point i want to show you is right over here so i had to tease the stop a little bit and maybe if i go out i have to like put a little hairspray so you know a little wind and you're gonna see everything <laughs> but you know that's the nature of uh, clipping extensions i love it beautiful i highly recommend this it's uh, keep playing with this because it's so 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 soft so silky I have a feeling this is like one of the best quality hair I've got and I just had my keratin I removed my own keratin tip extensions and those are real nice too and it feels kind of similar you know those I got from a hair shop and those are real real nice quality uh, uh, hair extensions and these are the clippings the feel like high quality Remy human hair which they are so yeah this is a real nice shop they are on Amazon it's called full shine uh, hair and they have their own store I'm gonna link uh, their store in the description box so you guys can go check them out 100% human hair they have all kinds they have weft hair they have uh, tapings they have clipping seamless all kind of stuff different colors anything you can imagine and everything is a hundred percent human hair Remy hair so yeah this is really really nice I don't know why I'm so surprised but you know every time you receive the quality that exceeds the expectations I'm like oh excuse me it's gonna be my favorite set <laughs> considering I just cut my old set of hair real short so now I'm gonna have my long hair back mm what do you guys think let me know let me know if you heard of them i mean there's a lot of stores on amazon so i really love this one so thank you so much for sending me the product i really enjoyed the extensions they're beautiful they're soft they're shiny everything about them so check them out the link is down below like this video if you enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live almost every Monday. So follow me on all social media. All the links are down in the description box, as well as my Patreon group. Thank you so much, guys, for your support for me and my channel. Thank you to all my patrons. I love you guys, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!